that Friends opening y'all got going on on We Are Live, though. Don't it's, worry about it's that. It's Stacey Static Don't worry about today. that. Oh, do you want it's to be a Mark? It's a takeover. Mart? Oh, it's, it is a takeover. Yeah, Stacey I'm taking Static. over How's your it work? shit today. Okay, who, who do we have here? Do you want me yeah. to guide the interview? you want me to guide you along? Y'all know who I am. You probably knew who I was before this man was born, but it's all good. I know I'm well-preserved. I'm Stacey Static. That's Chris Denman, and this is We Are Live. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. That was the best intro ever. Thank you. I don't know your credentials, though. Y'all giving us cl hand clap. We, got, Thank we you. have a, a studio good. applause, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, I bring all that. Yeah. Since y'all ain't going to announce me. <laughs> Thank hey, you. Get that off the screen. No, you thank you. I needed my, just show me love. Now I can go sit back in my chair now. So oh. I just wanted my logo on Do there. Do you want to switch around? No, I don't. Okay, fair. I'm, I'm here. Hi, Country Wayne. What's going on, on Stacey Static? I am so happy to meet you. Likewise, likewise. I've been trying to see what you look like in person for the longest time. That's what's cause up. Because you so fine on Instagram. Oh, appreciate you, Oh, and you know your angles. I said appreciate this man it. knows his angles. He's an angle guy, for sure. Appreciate it. He's a what yeah, guy? He's an angle guy. He is sure. an angle guy. Yeah. He know all his angles. I said, yeah. boy, his eyes glistening and shit. You see that? You go that deep? No, I, I mean, I mean he know his See, he know what he be doing. Yeah, no, I be chilling. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. No, he know what he be doing. Whoop. Do you see that? Do you see that in your crowds? What people, <clears throat> what? women no, yeah, it be, that appreciate man, your Instagram? It, it really, my crowd really be like eighty-five percent women for real. Yeah, you got the, a lot the of women, fans. The women really come out for real. Yeah, they get wild, huh? Do they get wild? I mean, I feel like on a Friday or Saturday. Yeah, they get get real. a group of, of women together. Like it's they time get to real. cut what, loose. What's the word you use, Jordan? How you say they be in the crowd? The women be in the crowd. Mesmerize. Mesmerize. Yeah, mesmerize. <laughs> they not here for the joke. So you like a sex symbol comedian, dude? Hey, I guess so. That's what they say. <laughs> hey, that's what child support say. They and she. Oh, <laughs> that's what the child, child support, support people say. Yeah. Uh, who's with you? Uh, my brother Prince Tay right here. Yeah. Good to see you Good again, man. Right? You back? You were here last year, right? Yeah, I was here last. St. Louis year. treat you guys well. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're staying in the house right now. Uh, 1924 Airbnb. Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what? Shut up. <laughs> no. <it's just. laughs> Man, please, the kitchen, the kitchen upstairs. Oh, I know. The what? kitchen is upstairs. The kitchen upstairs. What neighborhood are you in? Oh, what neighborhood are we in, man? Like the address. Let's let's give it out. Yeah. <laughs> man, listen. They got them tall. Uh, uh, it's tall a lot of house, buildings. Like it's like a tall stacked house. Yeah. They brick. Got a, man, I, it looked mm. like brick, but you uh, touch it. Stacey, not, we need plywood. <laughs> plywood. Plywood. When you okay. it looks like brick, yeah. but when you touch it, it's. Plywood. We need to. Uh, the lady sure. stay in the house. She don't think we know. <laughs> she stay in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for. She us. tries to stay I hidden. Yeah. I keep hearing in the attic. You yeah. Can, what? The lady who got the host. Airbnb. She just left. <laughs> she just put her eyes on there. So you know people. <laughs> you know people try to get that rent. <laughs> I keep hearing the noise in the attic. I know it's on. That is. She in there right now. Take right. a bell. Cause we go. Cause y'all gone. Yeah. She like, yeah, I ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. I ain't got nowhere to stay. I got these right. people in my house. Tell though. Yeah. Emailing you saying like, oh, I'm great. I'm I'm just blocks Man, away clothes, if you need me. It's yeah. too much of a real house. Like the clothes and the closet. Are you serious? <laughs> you get the bills on the counter. They all behind. I say, I feel them. <laughs> 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 yeah, got the bees in there. There's got, bees. She got the bees. Oh wait, does she have like a, a like a? Mean? She has bees in the backyard. No, you know the bees. Like oh, you bees. Walk in the kitchen, you got to move the bees yes. out of the way. Oh, yeah. it's that kind of place. Yeah, man. No, she does not. Yeah, she do. Does she, she got video of this? I need. Yeah. I need this. I, hear my, I need proof. The, the bee That's got in my eye. You? The wow. red dot in my eye. From behind, does she kind of look like our producer? Man, like, we don't I know how she look. Like a mystical woman. Because you don't supposed to be there. Okay, right. But she really ain't, man. She trying to get it up. It's Labor Day and the hotel's yeah. high. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm going to stay in my attic. <laughs> I'm going to go stay in my attic. Okay, I love it. We need to help him out. We need to check out the neighborhood you're staying in. I and, need to uh, know where you are. I going. already know. I see four bot shivers and crying big No, y'all not in the hood. Y'all not in the hood. Yes, we are. If it ain't the hood, I On I'll the corner. It. The corner house is always the craziest house. That is like the one that's prone for If it death. ain't the hood, it's definitely the trunk. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> <laughs> It's so close to it, you can't tell the difference. You're what? living in Los Angeles, man. What's yeah. going on out there? Man, a lot going on. Hey, man, Los Angeles, it's the city, man. Yeah. I, I never thought it was. I moved out there two years ago just to see. Yeah. Because I was already popping online and the stand-up going good. So I was like, man, let me see what it's really about. Do mm. you really have to move out here? Mm -hmm. When I moved out there. It changed? Uh, it took about two years for me to really get my feet wet. Okay. But it's a town. It's like a town, but the town resonates to the whole world mm -hmm. so it's like getting hot in st louis right 
and you got the whole St. Louis behind you. Mm -hmm. Getting hot in Hollywood, just that town, you get the whole whole world. Like, cause mm -hmm. th this one I knew I had to move out there. It was 2017, I went and had some meetings, and the only comedian they were talking about was Lou Real. Really? Lou Real. And then um, Tiffany Haddish was about to drop Girls Trip. So I'm online. DC Young Fly online. Um, Jess Hilarious online. B. Simone, Ha Ha Davis, and none of us were getting talked about. I'm like, man, this is crazy. Hmm. So it's two different industries. I understood, like, man, this online thing is the new way, but it's still, still Hollywood. Still over still here. Hollywood. Yeah. It's people hot in Hollywood. But not online. It's like it's like being on Game of Thrones. You don't got to have no followers, but you get about <laughs> a million an episode. <laughs> You feel right. me? So yeah. I, I said, okay, let me let me go ahead and take it to the next level and go ahead and get in these TV shows and these movies and these writers and putting our content in the future. You know, so that's what I went out there and did. You know, it costs a lot of money because you got to stay out there, pay that high rent until the opportunity. No joke. But then things started coming. Like recently, things started coming my way. Mm -hmm. I like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew the rhythm of it. You know. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. As far as what about family? Can you imagine raising a family in Los Angeles? Oh no, no. <laughs> I know some people who actually they've gone out there and then they send for their kids like later. Yeah, you got to send for your kids later because um, I stay in Atlanta still. I still got a house in Atlanta just for my kids. I mm -hmm. barely be there now, but all Christmas breaks, some I had um, my kids with me mm -hmm. because the industry kind of shut down in the summer and it shuts it shuts down in um, the end of December for Christmas mm -hmm. and kind of half of January. So you get all the family time in, and um, you know I'm gonna reach to a level because I got to bring the baby mamas. That, that's how, how my life set how, up. How, how how many are there really? Um, it's four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, the half of them I'll claim it like that because I got custody of that child. So <laughs> <laughs> Thank biologically, you. biologically she's there, but uh, yeah, no but nah, other way. Yeah, yeah, no. uh, I don't even let the child see her anymore. Oh. But um, Stacy, you have a follow up for that one? No, I don't. I'm gonna leave that alone because I, I was trying not to get into his love life. Because I mean, it, well, we'll get into it later. I think yeah, hey, I don't got into it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I love but let's go back on the whole Instagram being Instagram popular as opposed to being Hollywood popular because yeah, I do get a lot of heat. The Instagram popular comedians. Well, I came from Facebook, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, know, in, I'm get, in that run of Instagram also. Yeah, yeah but y'all y'all have gotten a lot of heat from like the comedians that's been out here grinding in the clubs for years and doing their thing. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that when they start talking about y'all? And some of y'all aren't as seasoned as others. I feel on like the stage. at first I felt like they weren't even talking to me. <laughs> Okay, I did. I came off the internet, but you know my life different than every internet comedian. You know, I've been had bills, and you yeah. know I was already living before comedy. Like, right. I didn't go from zero to a hundred. Right. You know, what I'm saying I went from making. I was already making a quarter million dollars a year profit before I ever um, um, started doing shows, okay. just at, at home and stuff. So, I I never really felt the fame. So I feel like they ain't talking to me because I came from Facebook. I built different people that if you're not funny, they don't care how much they love you. Right. right. So I would I didn't come through that Instagram world, but they were talking to me too. And, yeah. And I understood what they saying, but I already knew. I said, man, I'm, I'm focused. Man, that's why, I, man. Look, <laughs> I already knew I finna tear that stage up. I said, man, I'm gonna be, the, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do. You know, I went clean, created my own lane, clean comedy, and I focused. I ain't finna do no drugs. I ain't doing nothing, man. I'm gonna be funny for the people on stage. So I knew the work I was gonna put in. Right. So I'm like, they ain't talking to me. I understand what they saying. <laughs> But I've actually, I've yeah, actually did more shows if I if I had to probably been more time on stage than probably ninety percent of comedians in the world. You hit the road so hard now, and too. I started doing an hour off the yeah. rip. So they like I was able to go out there and do 10, 15 minutes and right. build up. I had I was the demanded they wanted to see me, so I had to have forty five minutes Whew. of material off the rip. So you toured from two thousand sixteen. 2016, 17, 18, 19, almost every weekend a year, you're doing four to five shows. You do the math. It'll take comedians 10 years to get that much stage time. Mm -hmm. So it happened fast. So every time I was coming back to the city, I have some new material, and it was elevating from the first time they seen me. And um, so I, I kind of got excluded out of that because a lot of internet comedians not getting stage time because like they'll get on these package shows, and, yeah. and, and that's all they're getting. So that, I still went through the old school way. I just got paid to do it, you know. The, uh, yeah. You end know, of the day, tickets are getting sold. Yeah, tickets getting sold, oh, but the clubs weren't giving internet comedian weekend. I'm the only one they really give weekend. Right. I'm the only one because I had a show when I first hit. I start before I, I would see. I wouldn't take the money at first anyway because I was already making money. So mm -hmm. I knew I didn't have nothing really to say. So I wasn't taking the money. 
So I was doing the chitlin circuit at first. So by the time I came to the St. Louis's, the Virginia beaches, the Chicago's, I had a set. Right. And each and it was good enough. Like, oh, we're glad to see Country Wayne. You know, the first time they see you, it's like they not even listen to what you're saying anyway. It's rock, it's <laughs> rock star set. It's like when Stacy walks into a bar in St. Louis. Yeah, the yeah. first five minutes. <laughs> right. First five minutes, they're giving it to you anyway. Like, ah! Right. So, so it's like, oh, he walked you on say, stage. Did you see him walk out there? Mac, yeah. Mac, Mac, Mac Bone! Mac Bone, all the meat! Chicken, <laughs> ah! He switched me so on <laughs> so, they just happy to see Yeah, it. so then you get that, then you roll into your material. I always had stories, so I, I rolled out with good. Bam. They don't even remember the night. It was good. I don't think we know country man make us laugh, but you can't bomb. So if you come back that first five, the first time, if you the first five minutes, but it's get slow, they not gonna tell you, but they just not gonna come back. Mm-hmm. They be like he was weak, especially in St. Louis. Yeah, they, everybody thinks. Yeah, St. Louis to tell you. St. Louis, Chicago, Memphis, Tennessee, they gonna tell you out the real. <laughs> So true. There'll, there'll be a write-up in the paper the next day. It and it'll be good. her friend that writes it. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't that good. Yeah. And then when you come back the second time, you know, when I came in 2015, I think a lady put up, she she tried to, um, <laughs> she wrote an article, but at the same time, she would congratulate me. She was like, I don't know how you got so wickedly funny so fast. But she talking about 2015 when I came, and they brought me to this place called The Ambassador. Mm-hmm. It was basically a free shot style show. It wasn't even, it was 30 comedians on there. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't that type of show. She said they had no material, which I did have some. We were just freestyling. They yeah. did a roast. It wasn't a set up comedy show for real. Right. right. And it wasn't. Was it, it was somebody. It was somebody's roast for real, or they did. They set up all kind of things. They used me to bring the tickets, the people, and other comedians. This their time. Oh, okay. So they asked me to host and keep bringing people up all night. Gotcha. Doing right. the set. It wasn't. You know what I mean? Way different than what you're doing now. Yeah, way different. Yeah. yeah. But, hey, but man, that's I, how much you've evolved in that. Man, Four I, years. Man, listen, I got God. I've been, tell, I've been telling people online, I got him for real. I got him for real. Wayne ain't finna fail, man. I ain't never fail. So, was, okay, you said you were getting money in the streets, right? You were street. I had, no, I had, well, um, coming, I, I had nightclubs. Oh. I had two nightclubs. I had two nightclubs. I was throwing parties. <laughs> Wait, what? What's all of that? What's... Don't mind me. We got a sign here. I had nightclubs, you know. Yeah, I'm from the street. And before right, the I'm all like, no, because if you had nightclubs, <laughs> you had some street activity too. I don't. Yeah, you know, I was in the streets, man. I, I was a different kind of, I was a different kind of guy. Then. Yeah, because I saw one of your pictures from back when you posted one day. I was like, look at Pimpin. Yeah, I was different kind of, I was a different kind of creature than the average internet comedian. <laughs> you know, I'm just. Is it possible? So the crazy shit you saw whenever. Uh, we'll say like 99, 98, 99, 2000, the clubs in St. Louis when like Nelly broke mm-hmm. and all that stuff. This crazy, insane stuff that you saw mm-hmm. at a place like the Monastery or other clubs here in St. Louis. Is that even possible now with all the, with everybody having cell phones? No. Yeah. Hell no. No. The stuff You've that seen we the, saw? the insane stuff, I'm sure. Man. <laughs> it, it's still, you still can like, I see, really, I feel like when Nelly didn't broke, which I'm not from here, okay. but I assume... It was like the internet before the internet. It's just that tip drill video was probably like a very one percent. Yeah, they were big by then. Yeah, well, they were big by then. Yeah, but yeah. no, we didn't. I mean, yeah, the internet was not didn't really play a factor. No, the yeah. internet didn't play a factor. No, so Early the, the energy of it. So if you if you get hot like the Beatles, I was looked at the Beatles story back in the day on the mm-hmm. plane. Mm-hmm. It was the same thing. They just didn't have the internet, but it was like when you pop, yeah, you're viral. Regardless. You're viral yeah. now. Hey. One thing about Nelly, he popped and had some hits. The ones who you pop and you good, you stay in there forever. It's a lot of people pop and pop down, but you don't. <laughs> that's why popcorn pop up. No, man. I, you know, I never thought about that. Yeah. Way. That's a yeah. Good way Microwave, it, 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 hey. <laughs> One thing about it, that's why I cook my popcorn on the stove, because when it pops, it stay right there in the pot. Yeah. That's good. That microwave. Psh, psh. You can do that at the uh, Airbnb. <laughs> Yeah, Airbnb man, the microwave. He got one of the white microwaves, you know, the little ragged one. Yeah. Yeah, the, man, it's, it's easy to bake up. Where did y'all find this Airbnb? Yeah, we need to talk about this. Who yeah. booked it? That's my question. My brother booked it. He said it had a discount. <laughs> man, the lady just, man, I know it smells like gas when you walk in there. No, it does. Why you? First, no. they said it's beads in the in the doorway. Listen. Yes. You don't, man, they got to, the, man, the, the heater was on when we walked in there. Wait a minute. The hot water ain't nothing but hot water. I ain't never seen a place ain't no cold water. Gas company comes by. Like, hot ain't wait, no wait. cold water. How what? How? <laughs> the water don't get cold. Yeah, I ain't never like seen like lukewarm. <laughs> right. It just gets lukewarm. I've yeah. never seen the water not get cold. Mm-hmm. 
That's strange. Have you run into that before? No. Uh-uh. I don't Th- think... It, does it have, like, the little... We need. Why didn't we do the interview at the Airbnb is what I want to know. Brother Hill. We need to do that. Now, that sofa y'all got over there kind of look like one of the sofas over there. <laughs> but it's vintage here. Yeah. But it, it, over there, no, that's it's not... New. Yeah, yeah. They, they did that intentionally. Oh, yeah? Over there. No, I'm talking about the house you were in. No, no, the house I'm in. Yeah. Uh, listen. Y'all, listen, I'm telling you. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? No, but I need to see pictures. I know y'all sent pictures. Man, I hate to do it like that. I hate to do it. She's a sister and she's trying to get her coins. <laughs> but I want to report her so bad, but hey, I respect her. I'm going to go ahead and sleep and smell the ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> for the rest of the weekend. That's rough. That's for real. Okay. It's big of your country, Wayne. So you're helium all weekend long. Well, what can we expect uh, as far as the party goes? I mean, we you mentioned that your crowds are mostly female. Do you hang out? Do you do you VIP stuff after? Oh, does he do roses? No. Some, you don't give roses, no. take pictures? You no, I you? take pictures at the end. Okay. I take pictures at the end. and um, But, man, them people be wore out for laughter, man. That, I, I realized, uh, I watched Aretha Franklin the other day. Mm-hmm. And I realized, because, uh, you know, a lot of singers got a lot of extra stuff going on now, right? They try to catch your attention. Mm-hmm. She just straight out sang. Yeah. And that's what I learned because, see, I ain't get caught up, you know, I ain't get caught up on the sauce. You know, I, uh, you know, a lot of women was liking me and, and, a, lot, and a lot of um, guys just for me being from the streets, they was attracting the, not, not like that, but like. No. Yeah, men want to be you, women want to sleep with Wayne. you. That's that's the entertainment business <laughs> motto. <laughs> what all? Like Wayne, I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, yeah. Wayne the homeboy. Absolutely. So I could have used that, right? Mm-hmm. And just been cool with everybody. But I say, man, I got all that, but I'm still not dependent on that. I'm going to make these people laugh. I'm going to make these people laugh. Well, that's what keeps you around. Yeah, because Eventually at the end of the day. Yeah. You run out of gas if you're just, uh, you know, kind of yeah, hot for man. a minute. So yeah, when they come to my show. They ain't go nowhere on you. They're going to laugh. Well said. Unexpectedly. People coming there to have a good time, but they don't know how bad they finna laugh. And that stuff, and it's, it's clean humor. So yeah. they like. It's like really tasting some vegan chicken that tastes like that Popeye chicken sandwich. That's what it is. I got one for you. You just yeah. you were yeah. just, ha- you just, just had it. Yeah, sweetheart. That Popeye chicken sandwich. No, it, it's a vegan chicken sandwich that tastes like Popeye. Yeah. Yeah. Sweetheart. So, so, yeah, so sweetheart. that's what it is. You're not gonna believe that you left. It's like when you with your so a family member, y'all laughing about something so simple, mm-hmm. but y'all can't stop laughing. Yeah. Right. Because you you know it. It's something that you like relate to. It's. All of that. You messing up, you messing up, you make up, you laughing, <laughs> and you really trying to keep your composure, but you you laughing the ugly laugh too, because everybody try to laugh cute at first. <laughs> but that, yeah, you got this. Man, I'll bring you back to the country, man. Hey, it, That's the way to do it. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see you. I've never seen you. Oh, you got to see it when you see the show, man. It, will you slow dance with her on stage? Yeah, I sure will. No, Thank I you. don't slow dance. Oh, uh, I'm fertile. Oh. I will, I will you might slow get pregnant. dance with him. Oh, okay. I, yeah, because I'm that fertile. fertile. Yeah. You have to take a plan B afterwards. So, okay. Just, just do you want dance. more children? Oh, me? Yeah. Man, everybody I talk to be want more kids. I'm like, are you serious, I swear, man? Every- what is it about men that have multiple kids and then you meet women they still want to have kids by you? You know, I don't know. I think they want that that energy to come <laughs> out of them babies. Tried and true. Cause my children are just like me. They all got that thing. Yeah, that they, thing. They, they all got that thing. <laughs> Even the girls. Hello. <laughs> Look out there. Hey. No, no you wait. Claim you got two shows way. tonight. Two shows tomorrow night. You're here Sunday. Yeah, I'm here Sunday also. Okay. Yeah, cause okay. we don't got to go to work Monday, right? No. Right, no. Yeah, so Sunday and Saturday. On Saturday. The day Thursday. Up. Okay. It's gonna do it. Okay. Helium Comedy Club. Stacy, we are live. Great job. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Static Podcast. You can yeah, watch it's, that it's too. A, yeah, it's both of us. I got yeah. my little thing going on over mm. here. I appreciate you for letting me come on. Oh my gosh, thank you so Y'all much. Y'all got good energy too, man. This is a great podcast. Yeah, I agree. This is great. Well, this is not. This is great. Actually, yeah, we host we, our own show. Yeah. Y'all, y'all need to bring this together, man. Yeah, do we? Yeah. I've been telling I've been, him he needed been to be my to producer. He didn't want to do it for real. Producer. He's a hater. Come on. Man, y'all oh, really man. got this, I'm talking about just off the strength, mm. even though she was late, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no. You you know, somebody told me 1230, though, honestly. But this is amazing, man. Y'all energy, y'all energy together. Mm. Well, when there's so much sexual tension in a yeah. room, <laughs> I mean, is. especially it whenever is. it's strictly from the yeah, female side. I, I love them like right. just big like, and uh, tall and white. Lisa and Screech. Yeah. Lisa That's right. and Screech. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Say by the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Perfect. Country Wade, Stacy, Guys, go out to Helium this weekend. This has been too much fun, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Absolutely. Pleasure to finally meet you. Thank yeah. you, guys. you guys. Bye.